All right, let's talk about overdress start deck price inflations. All right, I didn't want to make this, but like I've been poking around and like the prices specifically, let's go for let's look at TCG player. The prices of these starter decks are they're about 12 to 13 a piece. Let's just click on the first one, Tamari. That is $12.89. For a starter deck, this is like this is trial deck prices for a starter deck that they that Bushrod themselves hard hard <laughs> they sorry I just looked at the tree uh, tree troll tree troll games set of five over to starter decks unopened for uh, sixty five dollars. Uh, which is ridiculous. Anyway, sorry. Um, Bush wrote themselves multiple times in their all of their ad marketing and their. Um, I think I, they have them on the videos, like the commercial videos, um, advertising these decks for being three dollars and ninety nine cents a thing. Um, but like if we look here. We're gonna we're gonna look at specifically. Let's think of ideal eight hundred eight, right here. So look, unopened, they want thirteen ninety five for it, right? So that kind of makes me think, oh, um, you know, maybe there's like some weird overhead or something like that, right? But if we go to ideal eight hundred eight, and we look, let's go for tomorrow specifically. It's still three dollars and ninety nine cents. Still three dollars and ninety nine cents on their actual website. So, I don't know if this is TCG player, like, pre-sale stuff, and how they set, how they actually set the prices, but it does, it's not just with Ideal 808, because if we go over to, look on Amazon, okay, so this is a starter deck 2, Danji, Momo, Yama, whatever, you know, it's the Violence Bruce deck. They want $20 for this. But if we look to see who's actually selling it, this is Big In Collectibles. Okay, so Big In Collectibles, if we go to their actual website, which Big In Collectibles here, and we scroll down, and we find this Donji deck, it's $4.99. It's $4.99 on their actual website. Okay, so that's really weird. And I, I've heard that Pro Play Games is the same thing, where uh, they're... Uh, on their website, it's still like for four ninety nine or three ninety nine, but like on here, they were doing it for about thirteen, twelve, thirteen dollars. Yeah, pro play games. So, do not pay twelve, thirteen dollars for these starter decks. They're just starter decks. They're not worth anything. In a in like a month, the um the foil in there is just going to be outclassed because there's going to be an SP version of it coming out. Like, literally, nothing about this is a special deck. Sure, you can get the ride lines, but, like, the, there's no special rarity or anything with them. They're just literally all the same. All the same foiling. As in, there's no none foiling. The only foil is the cover card. That's it. Don't don't buy. Don't pre-order these prices. It's ridiculous. And I don't... I'm wondering if it's, like, a TCG player thing where, like, for starter decks, they have, like, a set price that they can set it at. If not, then it just feels really um, kind of sc scummy that someone started the price at this and then everyone else is just following up. Because, like, they're all like that. Okay, so. On <laughs> okay. All right, so Tree Troll Games. They, like, if we looked at the Tamari, they had the set of all five on their, on the Tamari one, it was sixty five ninety nine, but here... It's seventy four ninety nine, so it's a whole like ten dollars more for the same thing. What is going on here? So if we back up, and I don't know, let's just look at manually see if same thing. It's even more expensive. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, seventy nine ninety nine. That's 
Oh my god. That's ridiculous. Okay. So, um, not excuse, uh, defense. That this is a good thing because the decks are so expensive because people want to play them. Like, it's a popular... No. That's not it. These these are going to be printed into the ground. These are going to be printed into the ground. There's going to be so much of this product out. Don't don't buy it. Don't pay for that. I guarantee, wait a week or two, if you really have to wait, or when the set actually comes out, that the prices are going to be affordable. Like, don't even let your locals try to charge you 13 for a deck. Because it's not worth it. It's not worth it. This is like the equivalent, like literally, the demo deck for uh, that they handed out to learn to play is literally the Yu Yu Kondo starter deck. They gave you a free starter deck with that. So that's ridiculous. So, I don't know. It's so, it's just so, so weird. It's hard for me to recommend buying from locals if some locals are going to just like jack the prices up super hard. Then we have 50 cards over here selling them for $5 a piece, which is, it's fine. I think he's like a one or two man crew, literally shipping all these at the same time. So that kind of makes sense. He's a good dude. Uh, I've had, I've heard nothing but good experiences from him. Um, but he also doesn't sell his stuff on TCG Player, as far as I know. But like, if we go over here, they very clearly say that they want three ninety nine. That's what... They're advertising this really hard. This is on all like the the promotional stuff, and whatnot. It's just don't pay thirteen dollars for it. It's ridiculous. Like I'm glad that people are excited for this for 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 overdress in general, but like thirteen dollars for a starter deck is just, it's too much. Oh my god, look at that. I don't know if you're gonna have sound from this or not, but. We're going to kind of go through this, and I'll pause it, and I'll show you. Like, they're advertising really hard right here. $3.99 USD. So you go to your local game store, and you're like, hey, do you have any more of the, do you have any of those uh, Vanguard uh, starter decks? And you're like, oh, yeah, sure, here you go. And you're like, all right, cool, let me pull out this crisp $5 bill to give you. And you're like, oh, wait, no, sorry, it's actually 12 to $13. And you're like, what? That's not what I was told it was going to be. That's ridiculous. Yes, I understand that the MSRP is suggested retail pricing, right? I understand that. But the vendors know that this is going to be ran into the ground, that there's absolutely no value in here. It's literally just to get people to start to play the, the, the deck or the game. I don't, I don't know. It, just, it really rubs me the wrong way. So uh, make sure that you are not overpaying for your starter decks um and definitely i don't even know if arguing with your locals would be worth it at this point i guess you could just wait and buy this stuff from the set like i i assume that so much of this set is going to be opened that singling is going to be pretty easy um this is all also with the assumption that um actually getting the product on time is going to be a thing which because of COVID, things are a little little wacky with that. But, like, still, I don't think there's any excuse for charging what you think you can get out of people versus what the company very clearly wants to sell the decks for. I don't know. Like, if it didn't have, if it did not have three ninety nine on all of its marketing, and if that wasn't such an in integral part of the the overdress like experience. Then yeah, sure, thirteen dollars makes sense. Okay, it makes sense in that aspect, but it's very clear that they don't want these decks to be that pricey. So, I don't know. I'm rambling at this point. I'm just really upset. I'm really upset that people want to charge that much. Um, don't don't buy it at thirteen dollars. It's not worth it. That's more than three times what push road wants to charge it for so wants to charge you for them so i'm just i'm ending it here thanks for watching